You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, yes, I am reviewing another Berenstain Bear book. Um, yes, it is Christmas themed, you guys. Um, so, this book is called Berenstain Bears and the Joy of Giving. This one is by Jan and Mike Berenstain. Um, it is probably about 20 pages long. And it is geared for ages three to six years old. So, um, so what I have found out since I did this other review of the Berenstain Bear books, um, I've done once, actually it got uploaded today, so I'll put a link up in the cards and down in the video description below so you can check that out. I found out that this is a new series, um, called um, Living Light or Living Values or something like that. I'll, uh, I'll put a comment down below which one it is. I don't remember what it is. But it's a new series of the Berenstain Bear books that are designed to teach um, Christian values. And for those that are atheist or agnostic or they're not Christian, um, the message is still good. Um, it's still geared toward children to um, promote values, um, whatever religion you are. Um, but um, So this book is called Berenstain Bears and the Joy of Giving. And what happens is they're near the Christmas holidays, just like we are here in the United States. Um, Christmas is in... It is in, gee, hold on, <laughs> I'm, I'm experiencing kind of a dirt moment. Okay. It is about five days before Christmas. Um, and as Christmas gets closer and closer, brother and sister are getting more and more excited and they get money from their grandparents. Um, to spend on gift giving for their siblings or their mom or their dad or both. Um, so they're really excited. They're actually more excited to think of things that they're going to get. Um, with children, this is not at all unusual because um, they think of the bikes and the trains and, and all these um, new toys that they could get for themselves um, or that they would want for Christmas. So brother and sister go through that. Um, and then, well, <laughs> as always, you know, I don't like to give away the ending. Um, but somewhere along the line, they discover the true meaning of Christmas and it helps that um, kids aren't greedy by nature. Well, let me correct myself. Kids can be greedy by nature. It depends on how they're raised. But usually they have a sense of self and they, they think of themselves and then they think of others a little bit later on in their development. But, um, this is a great book. Um, it does have a Bible verse in it, and we quote it all the time. It's better to give than to receive is the Bible verse. And I've heard it quoted again and again, but you guys, I did not know that it came from the Bible, specifically the New Testament. So that was something that I learned from reading this book. And it's Christmas themed. So um, brother and sister bear learn the importance of giving and how to give and what to give. 
So, um, it's a great book all around. It does have a Bible verse in it, like I said. So, um, kind of take that into consideration if you're reading it to kids or um, maybe you don't know what the kid believes in, if anything. So, um, would I recommend this book? Yes, absolutely. Um, I am a Christian. Um, I'm not going to go into a whole spiel about it. Um, but um, these books seem to be taking a turn for kind of the better because I used to think of Berenstain Bears was a great series. It still is a great series, but this um, path that the Berenstain Bears are taking is a good one um, because most of the population is Christian, um, not necessarily Mormon or anything like that, um, but it does stand to reason that um, to get a Christian feel you know, you have a large population of Christians to have to get your book out. So, um, I will leave a Amazon link in the comments below to where you can find it. I found mine on Amazon, and it was cheap. It was like two bucks. But, like I've said in other videos, prices fluctuate all the time. So, um, yours might be a little cheaper, yours might be a little more expensive. It depends on what happens, um, with the price. So, um, I will not see you guys again at Christmas. Um, so, um, happy holidays, happy Hanukkah. I think, um, Kwanzaa is also celebrated around this time. So, happy holidays, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate it, and those that don't, I'm sure that people that don't celebrate holidays, um, they're appreciated anyway, because it means happy feelings, and good luck, and good karma, and all that stuff. So, Merry Christmas, you guys, from the book reviewer, and we should have a good Christmas. And thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again next week. After. So, bye, guys.